Hi and welcome back to my channel. Yes, I know there's not been any videos for about four weeks, but it's been a very difficult six week with dental woe, uh, somebody writing my car, crashing into my car and writing it off, uh, an attack of gallstones, which was probably the most painful thing I've ever experienced. That required hospitalisation and surgery. I sadly no pictures of the gallbladder which was taken out, which could have been quite gruesome, but never mind. And some other stuff which I won't go into. Uh, after all of this, I decided I desperately needed to do something to cheer myself up, which is exactly what I did. I didn't actually pay in Swedish krona, by the way. And here's me attempting to get the guitar case into my extremely small new car. Here's what I brought home. As you can see, it's a case. I made a complete hash of trying to open the case, but I managed it in the end. But what's inside? Ta-da! A thing of beauty. It is the Creasy Hind Signature Telecaster, a guitar I've coveted for about 35 years. Some bits and pieces and tags in the uh, case you can see now. Here's the guitar in all its glory. And I think Fender are trying to tell me something with the tag about free online lessons. Thank you, Tony, for checking the guitar. Yours was the only name I could make out. And here's the guitar in all its glory once again. In case you hadn't worked it out, it is a Telecaster, made in Mexico, locking tuners. The mid-60s C-shaped 7 and a quarter inch radius neck is small enough even for my tiny hands to fit around it. And yes, I do bite my fingernails. Here we have the neck plate with the CH for Chrissy Hind, obviously. And it would appear mine is 497. I guess that's the number it was made. There's some other stuff which is in the case. Uh, a sticker, yay, and a handy booklet which is in Spanish. I don't speak Spanish. There was also a guitar strap and that is the hardest guitar strap I have ever tried to put on, ever. It took me about half an hour. Oh, and here's a nice little extra little badge that Chrissy Hind wears from time to time. And for the silica gel junkies amongst us, not one, not two, but three packets and locking key. Here's the case in all its glory, very plush, very nice. This little monster here has already been sniffing around, deciding that she wants to sleep in it. No. Standard jack for the uh, import furrows, quite nice. Here's the single core pickup. And yes, it is dusty in Melbourne quite a lot of the time. And here you can see the three-way switch. Quite simple stuff, very easy to use. Volume knob and the tone knob that's about it really bridge pickup single coil pickup um up the maple neck rosewood fretboard it's a synthetic bone nut by the way obviously it's a chrissy iron guitar so not animal bone and fairly low action on the strings i measured it they were about 0.40 give or take as you can see, the strings are very bendy. I think they're 4 to 42s, but they are very, very bendy, which is quite nice. So, 
I'm going to make some tones. Uh, as you can see, everything's set to 12 o'clock. And just play it through my amp. Uh, now for the middle, switch it to the middle, middle pickup. Again, everything's still at 12 o'clock. switch it to the bridge pickup. Okay, we've done clean tones, so let's try it on dirty tones, so to speak. Um, the overdrive is on, but once again, everything is at 12 o'clock. Um, I'm going to use the neck pickup, and again, tone knob and everything on full. <laughs> some metal with it on. It's still in neck pickup by the way. Let's go to the middle pickup. Still dirty tones. Now go for the bridge, pick up dirty tones, everything on 12, still. <laughs> Strings are very bendy, so I should play the blues. I can't play the blues. <laughs> Thank you. 
Not a good idea, I'll stick to pop. Okay, now I've got the treble on full. Uh, the mids are about one o'clock and the bass is about nine o'clock. Um, still got overdrive. This is on the neck pickup. <laughs> Take off the drive off. See what happens now. So back to neck. Middle. 